Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a shared Google Calendar. Someone asked me about this on the Facebook page earlier this week, and it's actually a really simple thing to do. So go to Google Calendar, and the first time you sign in to Google Calendar, you won't see a list of all these additional calendars here. You'll just see one that has your name on it, and you might see a holidays calendar as well. Now, I'm going to create a new calendar by selecting this little drop down menu that appears when I hover over my calendars. So we'll create a new calendar and I'll call this one, you know, perhaps we'll call it Team One Calendar. Okay, so I'm on a teaching team and we'll say it's a calendar for Mr. Byrne, Mr. Hill, Mr. Perry, and Ms. Napolitano. And, you know, we might be even sharing this with our students. We'll publish it to our students and we'll say, you know, students, please check this calendar for important due dates. And what we're going to do now is we're going to select over here, share this calendar with others, and we're going to make this calendar public. Uh, we're going to make it public so that students and their parents can see it without having to sign in and become a part of our Google Apps domain. You know, your, your students may be members of your Google Apps domain, but their parents probably aren't. So we're going to make the calendar public and we're going to show event details here. And the reason I'm going to show event details is that I want parents to be able to see everything that's going on with a calendar event, uh, whether that's you know a list of assignments that are due a particular day, uh, a handout that I've attached to the calendar, or just a simple meeting location so that parents can see that uh, in the calendar as well. Maybe we're going on a field trip and they need to know the pickup, uh, pickup location. That's information that they'll be able to see if we show all event details. If we don't, if we see only free or busy, that kind of leaves parents in a lurch where they're not going to really know what is happening other than that there's something hap that there is something happening. Now your domain administrator in a Google Apps for Education setting may have disabled this for you so you'll want to talk to that person and see if you can go about making that calendar public. Right? Now I want to share this calendar with my colleagues and I want them to be able to add things to it. Right now the calendar is public and they can certainly see it but I want them to be able to add things to it. So we'll put in an email address want them to type in their email addresses and we can now select all event details we can say free or busy or we can say make changes and manage sharing so this person here who I've just added is going to have the same permissions that I do so that person will be able to add things to the calendar they'll also be able to delete things from the calendar so keep that in mind but they'll be able to update the calendar and it's a really great way if you're on a teaching team like this one here for all four members of the team to update the calendar for all students within our our shared roster. So that's how now we're going to save this and we're going to create that calendar. We'll make it public. And so now we have our new calendar and it'll appear over here on the left hand side under team calendar. So that's how you can create a shared Google Calendar. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.